questions do you have for me? I want to focus in because I know that this is a concentrated group and you guys care about writing. So I want your questions about the writing process, the publication process, that kind of stuff. Yes? How old were you when you wrote your first book? The first book that got published? Or just finished it? Like beginning, middle, and end, even though it was really terrible? Probably about 28. And um, when I was like in my early 30s, I had little kids. That's when I started to try to write picture books, you know, the, with the nice illustrations. You don't have to do the illustrations if you're just a writer. And I really was bad at that, but I finally figured that out. So my, actually my first book that was published, it's a children's picture book that's been out of print forever, that came out in 1996. And then what happened is that as my kids got older, I started with picture books because they were all babies. And then as my kids got older, the books that they were interested in got older. And so the books that I was writing also got older. They like to point that out to me when they ask me for money. <laughs> you, you know, your whole career is because of us. Um, and they're right. What else? Yes? What's your favorite like, type of book? Something that's not boring. <laughs> I, when, I, when I'm reading, and I read a lot of books for fun. Um, because you know what? I was telling Mr. Cobb, I can read faster than people talk because um, I've been reading for a long time. So it, it has to be an amazing television show or movie to hold my attention. Because I'm just like, oh God, God, you people, please move on. So when I'm reading, though, I will give a book three chapters. I'll give an author three chapters. You have three chapters to grab me by the throat and just get me so I'm going to say I'm way too late finishing this book. If you're reading a book for fun and you don't love it or you're not intrigued by it by the end of the third chapter, bring it back to the library. Tell the librarian what you didn't like about it. What was it about this author that just didn't connect with you? And then let the librarian work with you to find books that will engage you. Not every book is for every reader. You know, you have to find what you're interested in. So, did that answer your question? Nice. Yes? What's the editing process like? Like, does your work change a lot? Yeah. Um, yeah, like nobody in the history of the world has ever seen one of my first drafts. My first drafts stink. Awful. But, because when I, I, I rarely know, I, I always know what I'm angry about when I'm starting to write a book, like eating disorders, ah, eating disorders make me crazy. And the culture that creates eating disorders makes me crazy. And so I'll think about something, often for a couple of years, until the character starts, and this is the weird part, so bear with me. You really do hear characters, right? It's like, you've, you've all seen little kids, right? And you know, like, four-year-olds are nuts. Because they're, like, always making things up. And they kind of live with one foot in the pretend world and one foot in the real world. And, like, if your four-year-old cousin comes over and you've got a babysitter, they're like, dude, dude, I am, it's just, don't step, that's where the alligator is. Right? You know? And you're like, if, if, if a 15-year-old said things like that, you'd be like, oh, my gosh, you need help. We have to call somebody. But that's because little kids are so vivid in their imagination. And I do think that for some people, that part of their imagination doesn't shut down. Other people grow up and become accountants. And that's good because we need accountants and we need nurses and engineers. But for the people whose that imagination stays alive, they tend to go into the arts. And so you, I start to hear characters talking to me. And then it's, you know, it's all, sometimes it's a little bit like taking down dictation. That's the fun part. 